Yeah, exactly. It's just one of those calls. It's March. It's going into spring. We're switching things up. In fact, tomorrow, Amy, it's going to be the start of this major uh, three day event that we're talking about. We'll take you out to Austin, Texas right now. 52 degrees, expecting to get up to about 80. That is going to be some of the fuel that will fuel some of these uh, severe storms that will ramp up as we go through the day tomorrow. In fact, 9 million people are in the enhanced area for severe weather tomorrow. It does include Austin, Waco, Lufkin, uh, right over in to Houston, Pasadena also in there. This is going to be a big, this is the time really to prepare when you think about we're looking ahead to tomorrow and it encompasses a good portion of Texas when you look at places that are possible to see some of the severe weather, but the very likely bullseye there's where we could also see the chance for some very strong tornadoes possibility to see EF2 or stronger tornadoes in this area that's been hash, uh, hashed out here. Houston being one of them, Marlin another one, but all of this area could see some severe uh, weather with the form of tornadoes, but the EF2 plus that is major for that area. This as this low pressure system starts to drop right out of New Mexico, swings on through. What it'll do is pick up the moisture out of the Gulf. You've got the heat in place right now. Trailing cold front behind it. This clashing air mass is going to be a problem by one o'clock in the afternoon with the daytime heating, you'll start to get some of the lift. And then as we go through the afternoon and evening, this is the major concern. Look what happens. Eight o'clock. Look at the flow getting pulled up behind it. The north winds or the easterly winds coming through right where it's all combining together is where we've got the chance right right there by that dry line there is where we have the chance to see some of the lift. Give us the chance for those damaging winds, tornadoes, uh, a lot of this overnight. So you want to make sure that you are prepared now. You've got your plan ready to go. You know what you've got to do with your family. Three o'clock in the morning. Look at that line. It's very, very lit up, especially from Houston to Shreveport over to Little Rock. It starts to move off to the east. The chance for some hail. Major concern as well. Waco right in the bullseye here where you could see two inch uh, hail in diameter in this location, but large, large hail really for a good portion of Texas. Here's future track. There's Waco seven o'clock tomorrow morning. You got a few scattered showers. You get a couple of breaks, maybe some breaks in the clouds, mostly cloudy, but some of that daytime heating is going to help to give you that lift that you get. Here's what we have for seven o'clock. Look at this really fires up during nine o'clock to the overnight hours. John, major concern. This is just day one. We've got several days of this as we look ahead to this week. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.